What's going on YouTubers? This is Moparman 1978. Uh, I'm doing another video on the Buick. Uh, I got a little bit of the more of the stuff cleaned up. I uh, got the uh, the uh, Buick distributor put in. Um, crank hand cranked the uh, engine over to piston on uh, top dead center up on the compression stroke and uh, set the distributor down in there got it all adjusted um, I don't have any of the uh, I got the heater hoses all hooked up I don't have any of the actual radiator stuff hooked up the engines filled full of water for right now until we get all the hoses and, and uh, whatnot done um, until we flush out the uh, gas tank that's been sitting for quite a while uh, kind of rigged this up I got this uh, cleaned out this uh, quart oil can oil container I got it full of gas we're into a uh, we're gonna be running a uh, filter from the fuel line factory fuel line to the pump and then from the pump we're running one of these see-through filters um, the other thing I was gonna tell you about the heater hoses Got the heater hoses. This is a three quarters, five eighths. Used to have the vacuum assist. Um, was it uh, heater core valve down here? I don't know if you can still point that right here. Uh, cap that off. Got tired of all that crap being in the way. Uh, put a boiler valve in here like I did the other vehicle. So whenever you want your heater core to work. You just turn that, turn it that way if you want it shut off. And, and what it does, especially during the summertime, it keeps all that heat from coming into your uh, heater box and uh, heating up the inside of the uh, passenger compartment. But anyway, I've, I've already explained all that on other videos. But here's something that I like to do, uh, customize stuff. This is just a uh, six, six and a half inch uh, black pipe. Put that in there, ran this, uh, I think this is a half inch, into a half inch fitting down to a, what was that, a, almost a 5 8 or 3 8 or something. What I had to do was, it was still too big because of the threading, the 5 8 inner diameter a hose wouldn't fit over it. So what I did was, was I ground off all the uh, threads. And uh, probably left enough material that it's not going to crack or bust, but it's got enough material on there that it uh, that I that I enough of it that I took off that I could slide this hose up on and, cl and clamp it. Um, anyway, we got this stuff, and uh, like I said, it's not completely done yet. We got. Uh, Fine tuning to do this thing still needs spark plugs. I uh, cleaned and gapped the old crappy ones just to try to get it running halfway decent. Uh, we're still using. I cleaned up the old factory, the factory ones, or they're not actual factory; they're replacements from O'Reilly's, but they're really old and wore out. Anyway, so when you hear the engine run, you might hear ticking. Um, it might be from. I know one of the spark plugs on the porcelain is cracked. So it might be arcing, but um, stuff like that's got to be replaced. Uh, so why, so new, we need new wires, new spark plugs. The valve covers are on the wrong side. The PCV valve is supposed to be over on the other side, and the breather is supposed to be on this side. Even with Buicks, even, just like Mopars. Um, another thing I did is I got rid of the crappy old rattly Buick one, and I, I went and got this Chevy one. It's just got the little hole in the valve. It uh, allows the same amount of pressure to be released, but you don't have all that rattling going on. Anyway, I uh, gave it an oil change. That was horrible. Um, nasty old oil. Uh, new filter. So, uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and... Uh,
Yeah, this thing needs new motor mounts too. You'll notice that it's why it's well, it's, it still needs to be fine tuned, timing, whatnot. Um, oh, that was the other thing. The uh, the other night when uh, I was on the ch uh, the chat board during Uncle Tony's uh, Sunday Sunday Night Live chat, uh, the previous owners or whoever I don't know whatever uh, when they just connected all this stuff to replace whatever they did or whatever then when they put it all back the timing tab is missing so i gotta if anybody knows where i can find a timing factory timing tab or one that works on another buick or oldsmobile motor that will interchange let me know otherwise i'm just going to take a standard chevy chrome one from mr gasket and modify it and make a bracket and then line this up on uh top dead center adjust where the brackets on top dead center and then I'll just want to go ahead and weld a bracket or something to bolt to the uh, the engine or something just to get by or whatever I don't know unless you guys think of something otherwise but uh, yeah when this engine runs it shakes I got underneath there and I shine the light up on the motor mounts the motor mounts the rubbers are all dry rotted from uh, just years of heat cold and moisture and uh so that's got to be done but uh let's see if we can't uh see if we can't fire this up like i said it also probably has an exhaust leak on here somewhere up here on the manifold somewhere maybe by like where the uh exhaust pipe meets the manifold but one thing at a time and this thing's got power windows, but the power windows aren't working right now at the moment. And I think it might be one of the wires in the engine bay that's not connected or something. I'll have to check to see if maybe it's just a fuse or something. I don't know. Like I said, this car has been sitting for quite a while. Let's see if we can get this thing fired up. Let me prime it. Got, let's see here. Got a little bit of gas left over. It's been sitting for a couple days. Let's try this again. It's got dual exhaust. True dual exhaust with uh, Flowtech afterburner mufflers that exit out on each side of the car. See, you come around here on this side. I don't know if it's a lifter that hasn't quite pumped up yet. Or... I spray penetrating oil. Let's, let's rev it up a little bit so it's cold. Anyway be going over this with a fine tooth comb to see what that ticking sound is if there's something leaking like an exhaust leak whatnot anyway the car's got a bunch of stuff to be done on it still we still have to rebuild the front end the front ends luckily parts are cheap for these things I can get brand new upper control arms with the bushings already in them and the ball joints for like 130 some bucks and i can't remember if it's free shipping or it's a small amount for shipping anyway and then if we decide we don't want to mess with the lower control arms they sell a brand new pair of lower control arms with the bushings and the ball joint already installed for like 130 140 bucks um this thing's got a front factory sway bar 
that's cheap. That's cheaper than most of the other manufacturer stuff, replacement stuff. Tie rod ends, all that stuff's pretty cheap for this. Uh, shocks, we're going to get some uh, better. This, the shocks are completely wore out on this car. But we got to do the brake work on it too. Brake, brake kits are pretty cheap from uh, inlinetube.com. You can buy that whole kit pretty cheap. All the uh, hoses and the uh, steel brake lines. And I bought a complete set for my Dart for like 150, 175 bucks, stainless steel, already pre-bent. Um, for these Buicks and Chevys and stuff, they're a lot, stuff's a lot cheaper. But, but anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I went ahead before I even thought about firing this up. I went ahead and sprayed pen a couple different brands of penetrating oil and both uh, in each one of the cylinders and let it soak in for a day and then uh, when I had the valve covers off I sp sprayed penetrating oil on all the uh, valves and uh, rockers and whatnot and I might even pour I, did, I just did an oil change on this too I, I put uh, two quarts of uh, uh, Rotel 1540, and the rest was Castro W10W30. Uh, um, maybe that'll help. If there's anything that might be stuck, maybe it might help loosen it up. I might even uh, drain out a pint of oil out of this and add a pint of uh, a pint or two of uh, Marvel Mystery Oil into the engine as well. But uh, got the uh, transmission lines temporarily connected to one another but uh, anyway I thought I'd give you another updated video on the on the hearse project undertaker I know that's not really our cup of tea we're in the Mopars but uh, a lot of the base a lot of the stuff on this is ba the same as basics on on Mopars too so it was pretty easy to work on um, but uh, anyway hope you enjoyed the video